you must say I'll praise this and Hannah to your how for a ship, you are shy about a ship, my car for that. And Dublin has three apostles and elders of great men's stone. Shalom to all our brothers and out there, push his truth in our sincerity and in our honesty. This is a brother from Jamie, so I'm Jamaica Camp, and I'm Yashamai. Ashar. Yes, as a color. You know, today we want to know my video. You know, and um, the time we're approaching right now, and we're going to basically um, take place. See, because now we, we see that um, we're approaching some, some serious times, and some serious things are going to take place. You know, right across the world. Even I'm out in Jamaica. And hey, we basically, we're in this street right now, we're the men and the Lord in this street now. We basically are working, so, you know, the how about Shemir Shai, you know, can basically see it fit to deliver us, you know, from all these things to come. You know, hopefully we are part of the elect. You know, and, and all people you know, in this our mindset you know, so, you know, things are going to recover. And I'm going to go back to them now, my life, you know, and basically do what they usually do. But we know the time. You know, are the, are the, the judgment of this wicked society. The time period we live there right now. See, it, and it's called to the scripture. You know, a lot of people are going to get destroyed you know, in this coming destruction. You know, especially, especially um, a lot of our, 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 our people, two to our people, according to the, the measurement. You must say, two part therein shall cut off and die, and a third shall basically left to go through the fire. Yeah, John, let me first. First Peter 4 verse 17. One. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. Can't it the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh the Father, Yahweh Shai the Son. One. And if it first begin at us. And if it first begin at us, you begin at us. Oh. Uh, we the men of the Lord, you know, all of who basically know that they are, that are the true um, we call Israelites. You know, it's going to start with us. Lord, approach three more spots. One. One. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? What about two to the whole people? You know, all the men them are basically going back out of the world. You know, going basically um, to do what they usually do, all the worse. Huh? What happened to them? If it's basically start with us, you know, we are basically in this truth, you know, we are, we are, we are basically understand what will really take place. What we say them, we are basically business about how we are and shy. What? I say. And if the righteous cares to be saved. So the time we are approaching right now, this is what the scripture says will take place. The righteous cares to be saved. The men that we are pushing through, you know, right across the world, are scarcely the savior. Because you are all about the elect, you know. What? Where shall the ungodly and the sinners appear? Where shall the ungodly and the sinners appear? What? Is that? The second, second Ezra 9 verse 15. What? Say, I have said before and now do speak. What? And I will speak it also hereafter. What? That there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. So you're going to be many more I get put to death than them we are going to basically get delivered. See, because it's all about the elect, you know. You know, going back during the time, uh, at the first death, which shall basically flood, Lord destroyed the whole earth and save eight, eight somebody, you know. No one in three son and a wife, you know, and uh, basically I'm now a wife. And a big improvement this time, you know, because Lord has saved way more. You know, and, and through the elect, what will happen? All who did on this side, they might go born back into the kingdom. Right. So way more people will get put to death this time around that will get delivered. And this, and this destruction will get worse even what happened back then. You know? It's going to be the greatest destruction according to um, Daniel 12. Go on. Like as a wave is greater than a drop. Like as a wave is greater than a drop. You know, look for a wave compared to a drop. Drop this color of water. Go on. Um, this is Matthew 6. Matthew 7 verse 13 what? Enter ye in at the straight gate what? For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction For wide is the gate and broad is the way that what? leadeth to destruction yeah. so, so, so basically, um, chant this part is very, uh, it's a very basically difficult thing to do Because the word straight basically go back to a, a position of difficulty So this way is a basically, uh, this part is a hard part basically chant so she said, many, many there be that will basically 
I'm going to be a um, enter into it. Go on. And many there be which go thereat. Go on. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leadeth unto life. Well, narrow is the way that uh, leadeth unto life. Go on. And few there be that find it it. Few are going to find it here. It's about all about the elect. The only elect is going to basically you know, receive this truth and get delivered from the time to come. The destruction we are approaching um, right now um, swiftly and speedily. Zechariah 13 and verse 8 One. says, And it shall come to pass that One. in the land, saith the Lord Yahweh, One. two parts therein shall be cut off and die. One. So, 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 in all the land, in all which land, in the land of America, two parts therein. So, this is the measurement. Two parts therein, One. shall be cut off and die. Shall be cut off and die. So, two thousand people are basically get put to death. Go on. But the third shall be left therein. But the third shall be left therein. Go on. And I will bring the third through the fire. Go on. I will find them as silver is refined. Go on. And I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name. Go on. And I will hear them. I will say it is my people. Go on. And they shall say the Lord is my power. Go on. Exactly. So you how about Shemesh is going to deliver the elect See, because it's all about the elect you. It was predestined that the elect are going to get this kind of get delivered, you know, from all these things to come. In a matter way, them basically have got through the time to come, the Heavenly Father are going to basically deliver them. I don't think it be hated because according to Revelation um, 20 and 4, there are certain men who need truth, a certain member of the elect who don't get beheaded, you know, for the word of Yahweh Bashim and Shai, when I go receive, you know, the RFI, the microchip, who see the so called white man prepare you now, you know, for basically become monetary worldwide. So you have certain men who need truth and get beheaded according to the, um, the, the, the basically vision. But John and the island of Patmos get, you know, of all these things to come. Go on. Give me Ezekiel 9 and verse 4. Ezekiel 9 and verse 4 says, Go on. And the Lord said unto him, Go, on. Go through the midst of the city. Go through the midst of the city. Go on. Through the midst of Jerusalem. Through the midst of Jerusalem. And, and Jerusalem is a people, is a, a, a people before it become, become a place. You know, according to um, the carrying out um, Second Maccabees, my brother. Um, Second Maccabees, I believe, at 5 and verse 19, I think. Second Maccabees, 5 and 19, I believe. What? Second Maccabees, 5 and verse 19. Verse 19. One. Nevertheless, God did not choose people for the place God, here. So, so I say, nevertheless, Yahweh Bashmi and Shad never chosen the people. What read again? Ne nevertheless, God. God did not choose people for the place here, God. but the place for the people's sake. But the place for the people's sake. So, Jerusalem is a people before it become a place. What? City of peace. Starting with you. Uh, it's, it's the Israelite first, you know. the so called Negroes, you know, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Charlie Chubby because it's like today. So you said go through the midst of the cities. Through the four corners of the earth, people scatter. Through the midst of Jerusalem. Where people basically dwell. Go on. Yeah, Brother Zeke, go on. It says back in um, Ezekiel 9 and 4. Go on. And he said, um, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men. That sigh and that cry for all the abominations. God, so set a what? mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. And the word mark is to go back to the Hebrew word, which basically means um, lap, um, um, tawab, which basically means um, exempt from judgment. What? says that sigh and that cry for all the abominations. That sigh and that cry for all the abomination, you know. That, what? That be done in the midst thereof. God, because our only hillock, you know, going to get. Um, uh, the liver because scripture say do the hillock um, cry unto him day and night in a loop he might go be you know, he might go avenge him um, speedily God. so the hillock will basically cry you know day and night unto the heavenly father for all the things you know were taking place in this society you know all the madness you know what people basically been doing all the way he saw them and the two people and the two us you know. go on and he's and to the others he said in my hearing and to the others he said in my hearing go on Go ye after him through the city One. and smite. Let not your eyes fear, neither have ye pity. One. Slay utterly, old and young. Go on, so the Lord will basically purge you know, the nation of Israel. 
this person is a slave, um, slave utterly old and young. So both old people and young people, go on. Both maids and little children. Both maids and little children, go on. And women. And women. Become not near any man upon whom is the mark. Go on. And begin at my sanctuary. And begin at what? The Lord's sanctuary. So you are going to purge your nation you. You know, and start back with the elect. And through the elect, you know, um, a lot of our, a lot of our people basically get put to death on this side. All, all our people get put to death on this side, they might go born back into the kingdom to come. The kingdom of heaven. Let them write mine. Okay? It says, um, then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. Son, is that? Uh, this is Second Peter three and verse eight. It says, "But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing: on. that one day is with the Lord a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, on. but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Not willing that any should perish, and have basically you like to perish because all about you like on this side." Uh, at all should come to repentance. Gong Lilek gonna get delivered, you know, you know, from this arm um, coming destruction. Because all about Lilek here. He was predestined. All he was predestined um, before even the foundation of the earth, according to um, Ephesians um, 1 and 3. You can bring it out. Ephesians 1 and 3. This is Ephesians 1, verse 3. And verse 3 says, um, blessed be the power and father of our Lord Yahushua Mashiach, who has blessed us with our spiritual blessing in heavenly places in a Mashiach, Good. according as he had chosen us in him for the foundation of the world. Before the foundation of the world. So, so the elect was chosen before, not after, before the foundation of the, of the base called Israel. Go on of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. God, so only Lilith gonna get delivered, you know, from all these things to come. Yeah. You know? Back in um second Peter three and verse ten now, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, God. and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And fervent heat talking about the ICBM missiles. We could basically shoot off on the land of America and also you know, on the land of Israel. You see, because can't drive prophecy, America going to be destroyed by ICBM missile fire. Go on. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Go on. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought he to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Go on. Exactly. What? Okay. Verse 12 says, Looking for an hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens, being on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. God, so it's because you're looking for an hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord. That's what the yes call it. Right, man says, I'm supposed to be in right now, especially in this time that we live in. Yes, in this, you know, yes, in this is called the destruction of the society, you know, and our kingdom can build. Is it because this is not our kingdom? So we're supposed to put in the work, you know, because you know, put in the work so you like can get you know, get, get, get basically um, brought back to this truth or we can get the health of this society. Right. And so that may I say all praises and honor to you, Abba Hashem, Shai, Abba Hashem, Yaka, Kodash, and all the apostles and elders of Great Stone. Shalom to all our brothers and how they are pushing this truth in our sincerity and in our honesty. Shalom. Shalom.